So I have found this in this last month that it's been um, pretty full on in many, many ways. It's really ramped up since the month before and the energies I'm finding are really, really strong, but in an amazing way. And I'd like to sort of share with you something that's happened to me. Um, I uh, There's a lady in this room, and I won't mention any names, um, who speaks light language. And I wonder if many of you are familiar with light language. Yes, nods, some people, maybe not. I came across it many years ago with a lady that was doing some healing. And basically, light language is a language from elsewhere, would we say. A different language from ours. It sounds, with all respect, like gobbledygook. It, you know, really is like, <laughs> I won't even attempt it because I can't do it. But it, it's a very, very different language. And it has a lot of uh, resonance within it, a lot of healing vibration within its very sound. And um, I've, in the, some little meetings that I've done, I've, I've whispered a few words, whispered a few words of it because I felt stupid, basically. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? And now, whether this is the case, and this lady doesn't actually know about what I'm going to say, maybe not. After the last meeting, this lady took me aside and she said, you know, could I pass on a message? And she took my hands and she spoke in this light language to me. Now, my left side, my blossom side, can easily stand there listening to this as we held hands thinking, what is going on? What is going on here? Because my right side is going totally knowing that what that message was, although I couldn't understand a word for it, from it was being delivered to my soul. My other side is like when she said, I said, goodbye, thanks very much. Then <laughs> off she went and off I went thinking, what? But I knew it's truth. You can't deny it's truth when it is spoken. I then went to do my normal uh, channeling that I do with the Federation of Light. And sometimes I feel quite strongly that they want to speak through me as opposed to the telepathic communication we do on the computer. And it, the energy was very, very strong. Um, and I knew straight away that they'd like to actually speak this time. So I put on the headphones, etc. And they did a little chat about, and it's up on my website. And I would, you know, for those who haven't heard it, I would encourage you to listen to it. But what they actually said was um, what is happening at the moment. And that is all very much about our world is about to go topsy-turvy in a big, 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 big way. And how important it is that we hold on to our light and our strength, because as we've spoke about in other meetings, that is what we're down here to do. Then there was a, so they did their little chat, and then there was a long, 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 long pause. And I thought, oh no, oh dearie dear. I could feel that they wanted to speak in this other language. And my side of me is thinking, well, it's okay, because if they do and it's rubbish, I don't have to put it up or anything. Nobody needs to know this is actually taking place. So I let them speak. A very, um, when I've heard light language before, it's very, very quick. Very, 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 very quick. And this wasn't. This was very slow <laughs> and intermittent and long pauses and then just little words. And I was like, oh, well, whatever. And I finished it. And I thought, well, there we go. Because I tried the day before to do a channeling and the tree men were there. So I had to cancel that. So I was like, oh, well, second time, got to cancel my channeling. When am I going to do it? You know, when am I going to do it? And I could still feel them around. So I thought, I'll ask. I'll ask about this. So I said, OK, so, you know, that's just taken place. What is that all about? And to my amazement... And this is what I will say. I can't make this shit up. I just can't. It just came in this conversation with them. And for those who have been here before, you're aware that we've been told that we have these envelopes with inside our beings. And at a certain point, these envelopes will be activated and we will know exactly what it is that we personally as individuals are here to do. 
And we've been told this, I've been told this by White Cloud and the Federation of Light for years. Long, 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 long time. This thing about when you're, em you know, you've got your envelope, etc. So I'm asking them about this language and they were telling me how it was, they weren't really words. Because I said, well, I feel like I'm making it up, you know. And they said, it's not really words. They are sound vibrations. And within each sound is like a coding. And so it's like looking at a photograph, a picture. Well, on this picture, you've got, you look at the picture, you see the overall thing, but you've got the tree, you've got the birds, you've got the beaks, you know, you've got the feathers, you've got so much within one picture that you're looking at, that it's the same thing within the sound. One sound contains so much coding for our being to understand. And I was umming and ahhing, I was talking with my husband going, oh, I don't know if I've got, I don't know if I've got the balls to send this one out. I feel a bit, because it didn't sound like other light language that I've heard. If I thought, oh, yeah, I've heard other people do light language, there's quite a few people on the internet that you can listen to that do it, then I'd have been more confident. But it didn't sound like that at all. It sounded quite different. And I thought, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, inside me, I knew that I would be sending it out. So press the button, off went this thing with the YouTube on it and the I'd edited out. I had to edit out some of the silences because they were too long. Whereas I do feel that perhaps in the silences there is energetic coding going on also, but I just have to be a bit, you know, I don't know. It just some people like, well, has it finished yet? You know, all these long silences. So sent it out. I was blown away, blown away by the response of hundreds of people who, from a, a range of everything, from either never knowing anything about light language, when they listened to it, they started replying back to it. There were people who had dreams the night before that they received an envelope and then the channeling arrived the next day. There were people who knew exactly what it said but couldn't put it into words. There were people who cried. There were people that were so off the planet energetically because of the strength within that coding. There were people who were just, um, had never known, you know, many people say, I don't know how I'm supposed to serve on this planet. And they knew, they just knew. One one guy said, I'm going to come out the closet and I'm going to start up um, a blog about ETs. I've just never had uh, the, the confidence to do it before because of what people are going to say. And he sent me his new blog that he's, you know, he'd put up there and then. People just knew what direction, what to do, be it big or small. And because the, the Federation had said within this written channeling afterwards that this is the first message that is within your envelopes. Well, when they said that, I was like, far out. After all these years, suddenly, in the, I was like, well, it would be handy if it was in English so that we could you know, understand what it actually was about, but no. And it made total sense. But what I found very exciting was for me, I thought, well, here we go then. Here we jolly well go. And I don't read many other channelings at all. If other people send me other people's channelings in, they say, please have a look at this because it's very much about what you're saying, Blossom. So um, I might listen to it. And it seems that channelers at the moment, it's all the same talk in that we are off now to do with this perhaps this election in the US that is taking place has something maybe to do with it but it's and in this last channeling that I put out yesterday I said could you continue on on that and they said in the next few months well that nearly blew me over as well because they never anymore give timelines etc but in the next few months Things are we going to are going to start happening, which will then expand, 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 and whew, the time is here. 
Now, I've said this, you know, oh, the energies, I think we're getting close, the energies, that you know, are here. Not like this, not like this. And there was also a thing that happened to me, um, and I'm only telling you this because I think it's important, because I think it's going to happen to you if it hasn't already, in that um, not long after, and I listened, and people are listening to these, this light language quite a few times and getting more from it each time whatever it says. <laughs> and one evening, I was, I was sitting there, I just suddenly did not know what to do with myself. The energy was so strong. So I said to my husband, I'm just going to have to go in the healing room. I don't know, I just don't know what to do with myself. So I sat in the healing room and I was holding my crystals and sitting in my chair and I just had to sit upright, you know, feet firmly on the floor, my crystals like this. I felt like I was in a movie when they connect up to something else up there, it was that's exactly how it felt because the the feeling that I experienced at that time is indescribable. I got it. I got what we've been talking about all this time. I got what it means to be in our light and our power and our strength. And I can't describe that to you. But what I did know was it wasn't something I knew because words don't describe it. It was a feeling of such strength and knowing that what, Whatever this is, my light, there is absolutely nothing, nothing to worry about when all this kicks off. Because I felt so, well, all I've got to do is just stand there. All I've got to do is stand there. And woof, whatever is going on is cleansed, cleared, changed, transformed. It was just amazing. It didn't sit gone by the next morning, but I experienced it and I understood. When they say, remember who you are, I remembered on a degree like that, knowing we can remember on a degree that goes much bigger. And when I asked them about it in this last channeling, they said it could only stay for a short time because it would blow me away. And your being has to get used to it coming just a little bit of a, a time, letting it stay for a while, then it'll go and then it'll come back for a bit longer. And over these next months, etc., over the next year, coming years, we will experience this knowing within ourself more and more and more and it will become stronger and stronger and stronger. After that I went in, back into the front room and my husband was watching the television and I'm still like zzz, zzz, zzz. I said I just don't know what to do with this energy so he has a bad knee so I just said look uh, give us your knee give us your knee and I put my hand on his knee and my other hand on his ankle now you know like many I've done a lot of healings before and I you know can automatically just take a breath and I feel, you know, that I'm in the zone, etc. This wasn't like that at all. I just put my hands there. I was fully, fully alert. And I said to Goody, can you feel that? And he's like, yeah, he could, he could feel the blood running through his veins. He could feel this pulsating going on. It was like we could feel what was going on inside of his leg without any, any trouble at all. You know, it was just like... <laughs> And it was all happening because of me being in this awareness of the power that I own, that I am who I am. And in that, again, was this feeling of when they say when everything kicks off, we will know what to do. We will because there is nothing to do apart from have this awareness inside of us of who we are and just truly it would be like if an incident happened you there would be no fear that is the thing there would be no fear at all it would just be you will just know what to do at the time when anything is going on and there are other channelers at the moment that are saying 
things are really about to kick off. And when they say, you know, that your world's going to go topsy-turvy, I said, I, I had a thought, because I, I never think there will be a war. Never have thought there'll be, a, you know, another world war type thing. And they said, uh, just to say, Blossom, to reiterate, there will be no war. But they are saying and have said for a long, 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 long time that there will be events and presentations and discoveries of things that will blow people away on the darker side of life, which I am assuming, who knows, is to do with all that is going to be exposed within the US. I don't know that for truth, but that is my feeling that that is going to be the trigger. And then once that starts, so much more is going to be revealed. And they talked about a belligerent activation. And I thought, oh, I better look that word up, <laughs> as I have to sometimes with them. And it was hostile activation. I thought, oh, hello. Have I got the right chaps here? Because one word can let me know that I'm not tuned in with the right, they can slip. And I sat there and I thought, oh, that means hostile, a hostile activation. And then they said, let us finish the sentence, Blossom. And it was that there will be belligerent, hostile activations that will take place on the outside. So things like deceit, lies, all sorts of things that will really, really confuse a lot of people. People aren't going to know what is going on. But they said also that to counteract that, there will be these, like the messages with inside, there will be these inner activations of light that will counteract it. And, they, they were, I, and I said to them, you know, and they said, we have had trouble in the past, I said, you know, we've heard this before a bit, you know, nothing's really happened. And they said, yes, and with all respect, same for us. And I said, what do you mean? And they said, because in the past, they've been ready to go with many things. But those on the dark side have thrown a card, thrown another joker, and they've had to abort. Because in no way will they, who are th to assist us, will they jeopardize the planet or the people upon it. But I said, so how do we know you're not going to be thrown another joker this time? And they said, because there are no more cards to play. The game is over. And I was like, whoa, whoa, that is big. And it's giving me huge tingles now. And so if the game is over, folks, this means it's about to begin. And we really, really need to know who we are now. No, because I can still go, oh, this all, you know, and I still said, this still sounds a bit like a sci-fi book, novel, you know, except for the fact that I know when I'm channeling, I don't give those channelings one thought until it happens. So when all that comes in about this was an activation, and it, to me it made sense suddenly that it was going to be coded, that it was in our soul language. Whereas I hadn't really thought, I didn't really know what it was going to be like when it happened, and that there will be more and more and more of these coming through. And as more and more of them come through, we will recognize them, and we will be able to stand strong in our truth. And it is just such... Can, can I just see, has anybody else had that experience, because it can't only be me, of this, I know, I know, yeah, yeah, and it's just blows you, thank you, it blows you away, because, again, I will say, because you know there is nothing to fear, you're not in your human mind, so to speak, you're in your human body, but your soul that is such light is in. And that's why, you know, like I say all the time, we came here to lift the planet and to be light and all that. And I got it because those are the words that came out of my mouth. And I know that that is my journey to do that. But until that experience the other day, 
I just thought, well, yeah, we'll do our best to smile, be nice, say hello, you know, we'll do the best we can. All that. Until I had that experience when I thought, oh, my God, different level, different level of knowing all together. And it was like, I thought, imagine everybody, all us lovely light workers, having that. Well, I'm sorry, Doc hasn't got a leg to stand on. We can just blow them away, blow it away. And I really feel that now is the time when it is going to start happening. In what shape or form, who knows? But I think well, we do know that people all over the planet are with us, brothers. You know, we are brothers in light, fully fully and when we know that and they think that we're going to because I said you know not being funny but you know it's not 50 million people that listen to our YouTubes type thing how's everybody getting going to get that same here's what's in your envelope and they said it will be other channelers will pass these messages through people will get them in their sleep they will get them in their meditation they will also get them through music that it will come through and I said well has this music been written and they said, it doesn't matter because it comes, it is the simplest thing for them to do through music. When people are listening to it on their iPods or whether it is live music, it is so easy for them to put the codes in via music. And so there will be all different ways that these codes are entering. And the, the, I think the lovely thing is, is the way that it affects people so differently. And some people are saying, well, I liked it, but not a lot of not a lot else happened, really. And I said that to them, and they said, people, it's like, you know, when you take a pill sometimes. Some people will pop an aspirin, and it'll work within 20 minutes. Other people, it doesn't work for an hour and a half or doesn't work at all. It's to do with the system, they said, your system being ready to absorb it in its own sweet time. But there is no way that it cannot not have an effect within you and you know my stepdaughter listened to it and she went yeah it was nice I felt nice Floss afterwards but then about five days later she texted me going oh my god I'm seeing 444 11 11 50 times a day you know it, it affects people in different ways to make you f understand and feel your own vibration lifting up within it are there any questions on this little topic. Feel, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the sake of the, just the video. It's like the, it, it isn't a human tangible thing. It is completely different from what we've ever experienced. And it, it's when they, the Federation, always make me put feeling or feel in capital letters, because everything is about the feeling, not about words. Because you can't put that kind of thing into words. It is purely an all-knowing, understanding, all-in-one feeling. And, for you know, when everybody has their moment of it, and, you know, I think, oh, I wonder when that will happen again. That was great. And they said it's got to be absorbed for a while. You have to have it absorbed into your system because it is huge. And it's already in our system. If you think it's coding, it's already in there. Somebody wrote and said, I dreamt that we even have codes on our feet. So when we walk, Mother Earth knows who we are, and I thought, oh, what a, that's lovely. But if we've got these codes with inside of us, and these codes are activating the codes that are already in us, then we're ready for it. It's, it's what we are ready for, and it's just accepting that it is a different feel from what we are used to. It's when we step out of our human being.
natural. That was thank you. There's a lot of people also wrote in, to, wrote in to say it was like home, their language from home. They just felt like they'd gone home, and even though they can't understand it, some people said it sounded a bit Russian. Mine. Some people said that there was a bit of Native American in it. Well, if it's a soul language, I guess there are bits that filter on down through into our earthly language. I, I don't know, but it was definitely the vibration of. And so when I was walking along the beach and I was thinking about today and I was very excited because Ian's going to be here and we're going to do this. And I thought, oh, we're doing this meditation. And I got corrected saying, no, we're going to do this activation. So I feel that, you know, that makes me go like this because I feel it's going to be really exciting and really big for our souls. And, and what I'm getting through to say is, and we deserve it. We are ready for it. And I think it's just going to be a really, really lovely um, time. So I'm going to sort of, yeah, perfect. I'll finish now um, on this. And um, we'll just have literally just a 10-minute sort of stretch um, break so that White Cloud can come in and just have a little chat with you. And then we'll go into the meditation um, with Ian. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.